Hey, this is Tom, and the, the quick video today is going to be about who is winning the war. I think that's the most common question I get right now. Who is winning? Is it the Israelis? Is it the Palestinians? And I think it's important to understand it's not about body count. It's not about how many soldiers have died. It's not about how many terrorists have been killed. It's not about even land. It's more about who got more of their political agenda advanced uh, since the beginning of the war. And I'm going to start with the uh, Hamas side first because I don't want to waste your time. Look, Hamas had a few state of goals. The main one was to stop normalization, stop the normalization between Israel and Saudi Arabia. That was the key. Uh, did they succeed? Not really. They have delayed it, of course, because uh, MBS, Mohammed bin Salman, who's now de facto the ruler of uh, Saudi Arabia, if it's no, you know, he's not yet the king. But MBS, Mohammed bin Salman, he understands that Israelis are not popular right now. It's not the right time to push it right now, but it's definitely still on the table. It's still happening. The Saudis and the Israelis have too many interests that are completely joined at the hip for this thing to fall apart, especially with U.S. support. And I think kind of counterintuitively, this whole thing actually scared the hell out of the Saudis. Looking at what Iran has done over the past uh, few months, the Saudis are actually now more than ever interested in this happening, but they got to play uh, the game in a way that, you know, the people don't uprise against MBS. So, you know, they've delayed it, but they've definitely not succeeded in stopping normalization. Uh, the second thing was to create an anti-Israeli bias around the world, uh, increase the anti-Israeli sentiment. With that, they succeeded 100%. There's no doubt the anti-Israeli sentiment was never this bad. So that is 100% successful if they wanted to achieve that goal. 100% they've achieved it. Um, number three, their goal was to create a ring of fire around Israel. They were supposed to launch one attack. The West Bank was supposed to ignite, reach a second attack. The Arab Israelis were supposed to launch a third attack. And Hezbollah from the north was supposed to launch another attack, creating a ring of fire around Israel, making it fight in four fronts, some, some even internal. Uh, of course, that failed completely. The ring of fire never never really happened. In fact, the Palestinians are saying that the Iranians have broken their promise. The Iranians, according to the Palestinians, are going to Hamas, promised them that ring of fire. But once this whole thing started, basically the Iranians said no. So whatever happened between Iran and Hamas, uh, because the Iranians are saying no, we said Hamas don't do it. Hamas still did it. So that's why I abandoned Hamas. Whatever happened, happened, but the ring of fire scenario was a complete failure. So that didn't happen. Another goal they had is unifying Hamas, uh, Gaza rule, and the West Bank under Hamas rule as well, essentially unifying West Bank with Gaza. That has not happened. In fact, we are moving in opposite directions right now. The PLO currently is lashing out against Hamas in multiple articles, calling them idiots, and basically saying, well, what you've done is essentially caused a disaster for the Palestinian people. Even the attempts of Putin to unify them have failed. Uh, so, so far, there's no unification. In fact, the distance between the PLO, uh, Palestinian Authority, and Hamas is growing. Uh, more land was lost by Hamas since the Israelis took a big strip out of Gaza as a security strip, and they'll remain there for a while. In fact, the entire Gaza Strip is now occupied again, something that hasn't happened since 2005. So uh, that really didn't work out that well. Uh, did they move closer to a Palestinian state? Not really. I, the Israelis at this point are terrified of that prospect more than ever. So that is a, essentially an existential threat to Israel. So they're not going to let that happen. Did they achieve a better life for their people? No. Um, and did they strengthen the relationship between Iran, Hezbollah, and Hamas as one kind of joint force against the Israelis? No, because at this point, Iran and Hamas is no more. Uh, it's a mutual feeling of betrayal between them two. Uh, a recent poll in Gaza says that 70% of Gazans absolutely hate Iran for what they've done. So I would say that Hamas succeeded in causing anti-Israeli sentiment for sure. Uh, they've succeeded partially in delaying the normalization uh, with Saudi Arabia and Israel, but everything else was a complete failure. On the Israeli side, um, there was one stated goal, which was the release of hostages. So far, they released 100 hostages. Uh, 140 are still uh, not released, so a partial success there uh, at this point. Um, did they succeed in goal number two, which was to complete uh, de-arm Hamas, basically uh, ruin Hamas' ability to wage war? Uh, so far, they've destroyed 18 out of the 24 battalions of Hamas. Uh, once they enter Rafah, uh, they're going to complete that job. But so far, it is also partial. Uh, the tunnel system has not been destroyed by the Israelis. About 30% of it was destroyed. 70% is still intact. So that's very, very partial. Um, the Israelis did take a new security strip out of Gaza to protect the, uh, you know, the towns and the villages uh, near Gaza. So that's a, that is a success. Uh, normalization efforts, that was one of the main uh, side goals of this whole thing. Keep it alive. 
that's definitely alive. Don't let the mainstream media fool you. Normalization is happening. And that has definitely been a huge success for the Israelis not to let that fall apart. Um, the Israelis do have one big failure, which was to push out Hezbollah from the north of Israel. That hasn't happened. Hezbollah is literally on the border with Israel. There's hundreds of thousands of Israelis that have been evacuated from the homes in, in, in northern Israel. So that's a huge failure, but maybe a failure by choice for the Israelis to keep one front active and one front basically on hold. Uh, who knows? But they did take about 70% of Gaza at this point. Um, and they created some sort of a wake-up call for the Saudis to understand that Iran is actually very dangerous and that whole normalization agreement is super important. And they did use this whole thing to clean up uh, the West Bank uh, from Hamas cells. So all in all, the Israelis seems to be winning this, uh, but it's not over yet. There's still a long ways to go. But as far as goals, political goals, um, the Israelis are doing much, much better. But yet again, as long as they're hostages in Gaza, as long as this ain't over, you know, that's the Middle East. Who knows how this whole thing plays out? Thank you so much for the Patreons for supporting our channel. We really appreciate it, especially with getting demonetized in a lot of these videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Have a great week.